It may seem incredible, but going to the movies in the 17th century looked like this. Through this black box, one by one, the viewers could stare at the optical effects. It wasn't a comfortable experience, not even for the owners. It was very uncomfortable for the owner to transport such a complicated instrument. Sometimes it was even necessary to have animals or a wagon to move it. It was during that time that a German Jesuit called Athanasius Kircher was developing a new invention in Rome. His machine would allow missionaries to show their message in a very unique way. It was called the Magic Lantern. The object was able to project and expand drawings and paintings as if they were slides. It also had a very important advantage, it was easy to carry. Actually, the Magic Lantern allowed an outdoor screening of films. And that way, many people, hundreds actually, could attend the show and take part in the joy and the wonder of cinema. The Magic Lantern wasn't used only to evangelize. It was also an important tool for teaching and entertaining. It's interesting to see how culture became more accessible to everyone because of the visual language that's easier to understand. And this was a very important cultural moment of our past, and one I think we shouldn't forget. Alongside Athanasius Kircher, many scholars were developing similar inventions. However, the magic lantern is attributed to the Jesuit because he described perfectly each of its parts in his book, Ars Magna Lucis et Umbrae. Delia and his husband Gaetano share the same passion for the beginning of cinema. They organized his exhibit at the Museo Nazionale Etrusco in Rome. The reason? A strong belief that in spreading the life and work of researchers like Kircher, they can untangle the mystery of the dream factory we now call cinema. An art that ties its origins to the apostolic mission of the Jesuits.